Hi, this is Chris Dell with Morgantown Utility Board. I'm going to take you on a very quick tour of the Fligo Dam and Reservoir, the new reservoir being constructed on Coban Creek Road just off the Kingwood Pike. In the view you are looking at, the drone is facing south. About one mile to the north, directly behind the drone, is I-68. In fact, if you drive I-68 west just past the downtown exit, you can see the work site to your right. The large concrete structure on the right is the completed spillway. At approximately 900 feet long and 100 feet wide, this structure required almost 7,000 cubic yards of concrete. The purpose of the spillway is to direct overflows from the reservoir into Coban Creek. Flying forward, you can see the downstream slope of the earthen dam, which is complete and soon will be seeded. From ground level, the dam is 70 feet in height, 450 feet long, and 850 feet wide from abutment to abutment. The tractor seen at the top of the dam is finalizing the installation of riprap on the upstream slope. In fact, at this time, we are happy to announce that the dam is at the design elevation of 1,069.5 feet above sea level. We'll discuss this area a little more at the end of this video when we view the dam from a reverse angle. Moving into the reservoir itself, the activity you see is basically cleanup work. The area will be leveled and material used to reclaim the hillside seen on the left of the screen. One of the really awesome parts of this project is that the dam was constructed from material harvested from the site itself. Doing so made not only financial sense, but ecological sense as well. An additional benefit of this project, and one that is extremely significant to our community, is that raw water from the reservoir is conveyed nearly four miles to our water treatment plant on Don Knotts Boulevard via a gravity-fed pipeline. This protects the raw water from possible contaminants while offering a number of important advantages. Foremost, should a prolonged power outage occur, water flows from the reservoir will continue since they are not dependent upon the electrical grid. What's more, because our water treatment plant is equipped with a generator of capacity sufficient to power the plant, water will continue flowing to customers through emergencies. And during this time of increasingly intense storms, this is more important than ever. The environmental implications of the pipeline being gravity fed are obvious. This permits us to eliminate carbon emissions associated with having to construct and run pump stations. We are extremely proud of this because being gravity fed is in keeping with MUB's strong history and mission of protecting public health and environment. As we like to say when designing systems, it gets no greener than gravity. And by the way, this pipeline has already been entirely constructed, including boring beneath I-68, Greenbag Road, and Don Knotts Boulevard. You can see the distance to which the reservoir extends into the backwater area. When filling is complete, the reservoir will hold 370 million gallons of water. Given Morgantown's current water usage, this means that the reservoir will be capable of meeting Morgantown's water supply for more than 30 days if the river intake was shut off for an emergency and the reservoir was used exclusively. Let's now leave the backwater area and move to a reverse view of the reservoir and dam. On the left, you can see the spillway. The tall structure on the right is the intake tower. The upstream slope of the dam is straight ahead, and in the background is I-68. Pausing for a moment, this area, from the bottom of the dam around the intake tower, will be the deepest portion of the reservoir at roughly 60 feet in depth. I will point out that the long pipe you see extending across the reservoir and into the spillway is part of the pumping system used to convey Coban Creek flows around the dam, releasing them into the spillway where the water flows back into Coban Creek. Naturally, this will continue until all work is complete and filling is set to begin. Getting back to the flyover. When all dam work is complete, the next step involves a settlement period. During this time, monitors placed inside the dam will monitor for both horizontal and vertical movement. After this time frame, filling will begin and additional monitoring will occur. Thank you for your interest in our Fleagle Dam and Reservoir project. A special word of thanks is owed to MUB's Board of Directors and Morgantown City Council. Only through their vision in supporting such critical infrastructure projects can we meet the water, sanitary sewer, and stormwater needs of our area now and far into the future. If you have questions, please feel free to contact us at 304-292-8443 or send us an email at mubmail at mub.org. That's M-U-B-M-A-I-L at mub.org. I hope this video assisted in your understanding of this vital Morgantown Utility Board project. Thank you.